All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create different colors in FL Studio. So you can actually change colors of uh, most of the things inside of your playlist as well as inside of your channel rack. So I'm going to show you first of all how to change the colors in the channel rack. And why do you even want to, to change colors? You know, why can't you just leave them as they are? And um, I always put colors on my project files. It's just because I want it to be organized. Um, I just want to um, see a difference between, let's say here, a vocal group or a kick group, for instance, uh, or a drum group, as you can see here. Um, here's chords, bass lines. You can see, now you can see the differences between the sounds. Uh, instead of having all of these different sounds here in the playlist, everything being the same color, you know. So you can create colors in uh, different ways in FL Studio. So first, let's go to the channel rack here. And as you can see, every single track here has um, a different color. And um, this is because I'm using the demo project that comes with FL Studio. So you also have access to this demo project as well. And we're going to work with this demo project throughout this course. So uh, how do you open up this demo project? You just go to File and press Recent Projects New Stuff. FLP. And this will be the demo project that comes with FL Studio. Um, so if we just load it up again, you will see here it's with Adam Shabo and Johan Wilborg. And um, yeah, so this is the project basically. And if you can't find it, you go to File and Open. And um, yeah, as soon as you're in the Open dialog there, you will see a demo project folder there, which where you can locate this um, this project basically. Okay, so channel rack, you just go to right click on one of these tracks here and change color. Very basic, very simple. You just choose one of the colors here and it will be in that color. But you can do here also is to go to change icon, which is very nice. You can see here, as of now, there is a kind of an effect icon here. You can see effect here, but you can choose this to whatever you want. You can have your, your own kind of icon here. So... Uh, let's say that this would be like a um, guitar sound, basically. You can just go to, to the guitar and change out the icon there. So do the same thing if you go and right-click one of these tracks here and press Rename Color and Icon. And this is actually a way faster way to do this. You just rename the track, uh, put an icon on here, and choose the color, and then you just go with the Done or Accept button here, and it will be done. So um, this is a nice way to, to create different colors inside of the channel rack and just to organize these tracks and um, put a name on it so you don't have like random names and random colors everywhere and you know or or just having all of these tracks um, in the same color so you can't really see the differences between the tracks. Okay so let's go to the playlist here and in the playlist you can see there are different groups here so you can see the vocals is a group here and the kick here is a group with different drum sounds, the chords, for instance. And you can see all of these different groups here are colored. And they are colored in the same color, so, so every single group has their own color. And um, this is done because it's very easy to see the difference between the different types of instruments. So what you can do here, you can basically color everything if you want to. You can color every single uh, track in the playlist here. but I will do this instead. I will color every single group as they're done in this demo project here. So how do you do it? Just right click here and put change color. But if you want to create a color for every single group, so you don't have to like change color and change color and change color and redo it on every single track here. It's a lot easier to just group your tracks to one group and then put uh, just change color first for this group here. So let's see, say that we want it to be green. And then you go to auto color group. And now you can see all of this tracks here in this group has um, the first um, track in this group's color. So that is how you do it. And just create different colors for each and every track. And that will uh, speed up your workflow a lot. To do here as well is to create different colors on this section in playlist. So if you go here, you can go and rename and color as we did before. It's the same principle here, but you can also create random colors. 
so I uh, don't have to decide between a color for instance uh, it's nice to have the same color in the pattern picker here uh, as you have it in the playlist or in the arrangement here so uh, I would do the same color basically just so so you get organized you know